Altrincham have completed the season with a 5-1 uh, comprehensive victory over Vauxhall Motors. And we're talking to the man who scored the uh, final goal, James uh, Laurie. James, uh, it was a fairly easy victory today, but we scored some excellent goals. And I'm sure Lisa and it was very happy uh, in the dressing room after the game. Yeah, it was happy. It was uh, nice to end our home season with a good win uh, going into the playoffs. Um, it's got some good goals, played some good football, but ultimately it's quite a comfortable win, really. You were involved uh, very early on with a number of set pieces, free kicks and uh, corners, and we looked quite dangerous. Some good deliveries in. I think Damien Reeves was caught offside early on, but uh, for the second goal, good delivery, and Lucas uh, risen well and put in a good header, which has given the keeper no chance to make it 2-0. No, it was a good goal. Lucas tapped the ball well, put the ball in an area for him that he was uh, able to get to. So it was a nice, hit, nice to see it at the back of the net. Two highlight goals in many ways were the ones just before half-time and the one just after half-time from uh, Damien Reeves and James Walshaw. Both uh, different goals, but great finishes from two great strikers. Yeah, they're both showing at the minute that they uh, can hit the back of the net. Both good goals. Wally's on fire at the minute. Uh, top goal scorer in the league, I think. Reeves is getting back into form after missing a, a game or two with his hamstring. So it's good to have him uh, scoring goals going into the next few games. It was fairly relaxed. Vauxhall, I think, knew they weren't going to get back into the game. Uh, it was just a matter of how many we were going to win the game by. But it was good to see that we got the fifth goal. And defensively, I don't think Zach Jones will be pleased with his uh, clearance, although the defenders uh, got a poor touch and it's bounced to you. But uh, you've had a bit to do, but I'm sure you saw the keeper was not in the best position. I think he was struggling all game, the keeper. So if we got shots off at him, he wasn't the most agile. So I thought I'd hit it early and get on target and see what, see what happened, really. And I was uh, glad to see it at the back of the net. Not score for a while, so it was due one. Yeah, just the four goals this season, which is uh, quite a lot less than last season when you were more prolific. But uh, you should have certainly had a second today. I should have done. I should have been scoring uh, a lot more recently as well. Um, but I've been playing well, just not been scoring. Um, been involved in a lot of good play recently. Um, but yeah, like you said, not scored. I think I got 10 last year. Scored four. Not really played half the season. So it's been good to get in the team and um, score a goal today, yeah. And you were out of the team for quite some time, started the season, but then were on, spent a lot of the uh, time on the subs bench. But in recent games, you've been a regular and uh, you can see that you're coming back into form and maybe just at the right time with the playoffs beckoning, uh, never, maybe the opportunity is there for you. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully I can play a big part in the next few uh, weeks. Um, big games coming up. I um, don't know who we'll get in the playoffs or what's going to happen, but hopefully we can play well and uh, do the business, really, and get ourselves up in the league. I asked Lee Sinnott if he had any favourites as to who he'd like to play in the playoffs or avoid in the playoffs. Do you think the players have got any particular favourites? Uh, not really. Um, I think we're just going to whoever we play with the uh, same mentality of trying to get through to the final. And then when the final comes, it's a bit of a lottery, but we can only do our best and um, hope for the best, really. We're a good footballing team and the playoffs don't actually tend to have a lot of football played and there's a lot of tension, uh, teams close each other down and perhaps that doesn't suit us uh, the best but perhaps we're going to have to adapt our game in the semi-finals and hopefully the final. Yeah, you're right. We have to um, come up against teams who play different to us and the uh, tension, like you said, like last year will um, hold us in good stead with the uh, experience of Brackley, how we, the first leg went and how the second leg went. Um, the gaffer's got ideas of how he wants to go about things when games are in different scenarios. So uh, we'll be confident whoever we play and get the job done, hopefully. And if we can beat Histon on Saturday, it looks like they've been relegated. So if we can beat Histon on Saturday, we'll finish at least third. And that would guarantee us a home game in the second leg of the uh, semi-final, which is quite important. It is important. showed last year with Brackley. Um, they lost to us, obviously, in the first leg. But going to their place had a bit of advantage. They could uh, they got out of the first half, killed the game really. But um, no, we'll see. We'll play. We'll see what happens on the day, and then we'll go from there really. Okay, that's uh, James Laurie there, uh, happy with uh, Altrincham's final display of the season at the J Davidson Stadium, a 5-1 victory over Vauxhall Motors. We now go to the final game of the season at Histon, and then on to the playoffs. <laughs>